Once you've installed GeoPoint and provided access to users, it's time to set up map objects. There are two important concepts to know about. Map objects provide the information that GeoPoint needs to put a Salesforce object on the map. When you create a map object, you'll tell the GeoPoint geocoder which address fields it should use. Geocoding is the process of converting address data to latitude and longitude coordinates. After you set up map objects, you'll need to make sure the geocoder runs. You need to set up a map object for each Salesforce object or set of address fields that you want to map in GeoPoint. For example, if you want to map both the billing and shipping address for accounts, you would need to create a separate map object for each address. There are several types of map objects you can create, depending on your organization's needs and the type of Salesforce object. Let's just start with an easy map object setup method. We're going to map accounts using the off-record geocoding method. Start by clicking GeoPoint Setup, and then click the Map Object sub-tab. Click New Map Object. Using the drop-down, select the object that you want to map. We'll select Account, and it'll open up some options for us to fill out. Enter a display name and an API name. These may be auto-populated for you. In the first section, where are the address fields located, keep the first option selected. The address fields are on this object. For the next section, we need to define the address fields that the geocoder should use. GeoPoint has automatically selected the billing address fields, but I can click Change and select different address fields if I want to use them. For example, I could select my shipping address fields if I want to map those instead. In the section that says define the output fields GeoPoint should use, keep off record selected as the GeoPoint location. Make sure the geocode lookup field is selected here. Since this is a standard object account, GeoPoint has already set it up and selected it for us. If you're setting up a custom object, you'll need to create that geocode lookup field, and you can find information about that on the help site. We won't dive into all these advanced options, but keep in mind that you can add a SOCL filter here if you want to limit which records are being geocoded. Click Save. Now the Map Objects tab shows a summary of the map object that we just created. At any time, we can click Edit to make any changes to the configuration. Now we need to make sure the geocoder runs so that those address fields are processed into coordinate locations. Running the geocoder, either by scheduling it or processing it manually, is a crucial step after creating your map objects. We recommend that you schedule the geocoder to run hourly so that records are always kept up to date. This will process all new records the first time and check for changes and additions each time thereafter. To do so, click the Batch Jobs tab of GeoPoint Setup, then click Schedule Geocoder. Now, once you see that the geocode batch job has been completed in the Batch Jobs list, you can see these records on the map by switching to the Map tab, and you should see the name of the map object you just set up appended by all. Click Everywhere at the top, then click this data set, and you can see all the records that have been mapped. Now that you know how to put objects on the map, keep these address quality tips in mind to ensure that those objects map correctly. It's important to use the right fields. For example, never put the city in the country field. You can often mix up the geocoder by entering a business name into the address, so make sure to avoid this. Spell checking is also very important. Learn more about address quality tips, other types of map objects that you can create, and all the ins and outs of geocoding on the GeoPoint Help Center.